all right so today we are talking about one of the most requested video that is a ramachandran plot and in order to understand ramachandran plot very easily we need to know couple of points about the bond angles so let's start today's video now this is a structure that we uh, have studied many a times when we talk about protein configuration peptide bond formation what we need to clearly understand here is the peptide bond angle which we uh, say omega this peptide bond angle has a partial double bond character and because of this partial double uh, bond character this uh, particular bond have no rotation it cannot rotate there cannot be a rotation in the peptide bond because of the partial bond character we know this thing but the alpha carbon has two bond angles and both of these bond angles have freedom of rotation that is the bond between uh, alpha carbon and nitrogen that is the phi bond and alpha carbon n carbon that is the psi bond now these two bonds have freedom of rotation and the angles are phi and psi so what happens is uh, when the protein structure is made secondary structure there will be rotation in these two bonds based on what type of uh, side chains are there what type of amino acids are there and thus what type of side chain it carries it will have a particular type of rotation now the thing is uh, the rotation that occurs between this alpha carbon nitrogen and alpha carbon carbon cannot be uh, random uh what i mean is uh we know that this alpha carbon also has the side chains attached all the amino acids will have specific uh, side chains attached to it so when uh, depending on the structure of amino acid when it is rotating there is a phenomena of steric hindrance happening so because of the steric hindrance or steric interference some of the values or some of the uh, bond angles are prohibited or are not allowed because of the steric hindrance some of the bond angles or some of the rotations are not allowed all right so this is uh, two points that we should be very clear one thing we know that peptide bond because of the partial double bond there is no rotation okay but freedom of rotation is there with the two bonds attached to the alpha carbon that is phi and psi now the thing is because of the side chain there is a steric hindrance and not all bond angles are allowed there is restriction because of the steric interference all right so the bond angle between the alpha carbon and nitrogen alpha carbon and carbon is 180 degree right we know this uh, when the polypeptide is fully in extended form it is in the same plane right so if you take this c alpha it has one carbon on the one side and one nitrogen on the other side this is in the same plane it is 1 degree isn't it this whole thing is 1 degree so the angle phi and psi is also 180 degree so the value of this bond rotation falls from minus 180 degree to plus 180 degree all right one more point that we should be clear is suppose i want to take 0 degree for uh, phi and psi angle is it possible to take 0 degree rotation look at it, uh, this structure from 180 if i take 0 degree rotation this is where your nitrogen will fall here also the carbon if i take 180 to 0 degree rotation the carbon will fall over here that means it is almost you know overlapping each other to almost come like this but this is impossible that this cannot occur this is impossible this cannot happen that is why we say that for phi and psi zero degree rotation is strictly prohibited it cannot happen so this zero degree is always a reference point that we talk about but phi and psi zero degree rotation cannot happen now we know the reason what ramachandran did is he showed the allowed bond angles of the uh, secondary structure or the allowed bond angles of protein graphically in a plot right that time we did not have this bioinformatics and all these tools so graphically he showed what all angles are allowed 
so this is what is ramachandran plot where he plotted phi versus psi and he showed all the allowed bond angles from minus 180 to plus 180 on both phi and psi so what happens is as you can see over here there are three colors you can see one dark blue color intermediate and one lightest blue color area which is shown here dark blue color is the region where the bond angles are easily allowed all right the most feasible allowed region that includes your beta sheets anti parallel parallel beta sheets your collagen helix these are the region where the uh, bond values or bond angles are maximum allowed whereas this intermediate uh, blue color region is the region where compared to this least allowed values are there but the lightest blue region is the region where it is very difficult to have the bond angle but still it is there but it is the least favorable condition to have the bond angle so this is what ramachandran plot says the allowed bond angles it is showing you graphically that time we did not have bioinformatics or any other software so that time ramachandran plot was really very helpful to understand the allowed bond angles or now based on this there are two things uh, that we have one which is called as the most allowed region and the least allowed region and that is glycine which is the most allowed region that means it, it occupies maximum region in the ramachandran plot the reason being you know the structure of glycine in the r chain it just have one single proton right so so the steric hindrance is very very less so glycine is the amino acid that occupies or that has the most allowed region in the ramachandran plot whereas proline is the least allowed region because you know the r group is involved in the uh, ring structure formation so the proline has r group which is very bulky and that's why steric hindrance is very very high so it is the least allowed it occupies the least region whereas the glycine is the most allowed region in the ramachandran plot so that's all ramachandran plot is all about that based on the steric hindrance there is change in the uh, rotations in the phi and psi not all values are possible as we saw zero is absolutely not possible likewise only few bond rotations or few bond values are prohibited or only few are allowed and that you can see clearly using the ramachandran plot so that's it in brief that's all about ramachandran plot and i hope once you know this concept you can go much more in detail and i hope this video was helpful to subscribe to the channel for new video every week and i'll see you next time until then keep learning